Ooh, that lipstick is looking really dark. I love it. Hey guys, Alex is calling me. Great. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday. It is the 16th, which means my birthday is less than a week away. I turned 29 on the 22nd and I'm actually pretty excited about it. There are a few things planned, lots of delicious meals with friends and just hanging out and I've been getting a little spendy and bought a couple of a couple like a lot a lot of different beauty products and items and things so i'm thinking i'm gonna do a full haul but my ulta order just came in so i wanted to show you a couple of things they have mac now and mac is like this brand that i lusted over for years like when i first started watching youtube videos and all those beauty bloggers and video people beauty youtubers were making videos they were always talking about mac products and i was such a nervous duck that i did not want to go to a mac counter i don't know what it is about counters but they just make me really nervous they make me feel like i'm being watched or judged that i literally don't know what i'm doing because i literally don't know what i'm doing so the fact that they sell mac online just makes me really happy so i picked up this mac eyeshadow in omega it is this like matte grayish i don't know how do you do this anymore do people still even do this so it's like this grayish brown because i plan on using this as a contour because the contour that i have been using is incredibly expensive like alarmingly expensive and i couldn't find it on sephora so got this and then every year since i was like 20 i've bought myself a mac lipstick for my birthday it's just something that i do i it just feels really bougie and i wish i would have remembered which ones i got for each year that would have been cool but this year i got cream in your coffee and this is like iconically a kayla color like this type of color i will show it closer in that that haul because this is just one of many purchases I've made. I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I feel like I'm very, very strict with money and I don't spend a lot on myself. So I'm just enjoying the little like treat yourself moment. But today is Wednesday, it is a work day. I'm just wrapping up my lunch. I've been trying to at least take a 30 minute lunch because I need a break. I need to get away from the computer and like literally just chill out. Um, but now I need to get back at it. I have a lot of website work and I actually have a new website I'm doing. We are making a website for a coffee company that gets all of its beans roasted and like picked and farmed in Colombia by women farmers. So I get to build that website for them, which is really exciting. So girl's busy. Girl has a lot to do and she just spent a decent amount of time talking to you. So time to get back at it type in away. Oh, I bought a new keyboard like a month ago. It, it's still not here, but soon I'll be really typing away. So I forget who I've told, but I don't think I've told you guys, but Alex and I have the great pleasure of being able to stay in Hawaii for a month in September. So from September 8th to I think October 5th, we will be on the big island, working, living, enjoying life, feeling truly freaking awesome. So uh, if you have any like ideas for content you wanna see while there or anything like that, let me know because I'll be vlogging the whole thing obviously. But if you want any like video specific things um, filmed, let me know. But it is just a couple of months away. We've known about it for I think almost six months now. We've known about it for a while and it's finally starting to get a little bit closer that it seems all right to do a little bit of planning. This will be my longest trip ever and there just feels like a lot of things that I need to get in order and make sure everything's okay. The cats are gonna go stay at my mom's place um, so they'll be taken care of. They love her dog Bancroft, they love her and so they'll be more than happy and content there. They won't notice we're gone. And I've started a Monday board of all the things I need to remember and do. And I've slowly started collecting like my stickers that I wanna bring with me 
and figuring out the kind of things that I want to travel with. I'm gonna try and do it only in a carry-on, which should be interesting. Definitely because I have to somehow move like my work life over to Hawaii. So that'll be something cool we get to share as I figure that stuff out. So this is my Monday board. It's super simple right now. I don't have any like settings or anything. It's more just like a list. So obviously I need to take care of my cats. I have a lot of plants. What's gonna go on with our mail? Mostly this stuff is just gonna be handled by my mom, which is really awesome. Uh, our lawn needs to get mowed. We have a leak in our bathroom that needs to get fixed. So I need to make sure I get all my like work done. Stuff I wanna make sure we pack things I need to buy, and just a little list that I've started just so I can keep track of everything. And then there's like subcategories. So these are all the things that I wanna make sure I bring over for the boys because they have like certain things that they really enjoy that make them happy and comfortable. So I have just this list here. So if anything gets in my head and I just don't like that stress of like worrying I'm gonna forget something, so I just put it all down here. Another way I've been kind of prepping is just having an open suitcase in our closet and if I find anything or think about anything, I just chuck it in here. So this is our snorkel stuff. I have some Polaroid camera refills, my water shoes, our like water camera. And if there's just things that I don't need to use but I don't want to forget, I'm just going to chuck it in here for the next couple of months so that when I do start packing, all this stuff is in one place. The same is kind of going for stickers and planner supplies. I have this Glossier pouch and I've just been putting any like Hawaii themed stickers that I've made or like downloads I've found or sheets or whatever that I have in my collection. I've just been putting in here next to my desk just so it's there, just so I can like start trickling things in. But I don't want my stickers or anything to go bigger than this pouch because I'm also gonna be bringing my memory planner or my memory journal with me so I can document the entire month in that as we go along. I think that's just gonna be easier rather than trying to do it after we get back. I just won't have the time. So this just sits next to my desk and I just add little stickers. Like this is a paper shire sticker that she just released some like Hawaii like vacation theme stuff, perfect timing. So I put that in here. I've even set up my planner. Look at all of that washi tape of travel. And I've planned out my videos and like my content, um, at least for the Wednesdays. I can always do a Friday video. I usually do Wednesday, Friday videos, but I haven't quite figured out what I wanna do on Fridays. Oh my gosh. And then we have a wedding of one of our best friends. He was the best man at our wedding. He's getting married a couple days before. And then we have our anniversary, our five year anniversary. Also, so freaking excited for when this officially starts. I, I've been planning the future I've already. Like I've already been planning all the months. I think it's August, like I'm excited. Of course I'm over here stalling from work and planning out content. I have most of July figured out. Of course this stuff can change and move and I'm like not set in stone, but it's nice to see like what my plans are for like packing and like vlogs, different stuff. And I have a couple of things for the next year already at the bottom. You know, gotta be prepared. Hey guys, as you can tell by the balloon, today's my birthday and it's been a lovely day so far. It's been a lovely couple of days and I've just been really basking in what it feels like to be 29. I'm 29 this year. Um, tonight I'm going out to dinner with my friends Taylor and Johnny and Alex of course is coming too. I just filmed a little birthday haul video. I went really crazy with uh, gifts to myself from myself. And so I wanted to share all the products and stuff. So I filmed that video and it's just really nice to just kind of take it easy today. I've been watching Sex in the City this morning. Yesterday we went to Holland, just kind of on a spur of the moment thing. And we wandered around, went to all the shops and then we did some pottery. I just randomly was like, you know what I want to do for my birthday? I want to paint some pottery. We found a space, we went, we painted. It was amazing. We're gonna pick up our pieces in a week or so, but Got this awesome balloon from my mom this morning. Which is kind of, I'm here for this. I don't think there's ever an age where you're too old for a balloon. I'm gonna keep this in my office until it dies. But got my hair curled, 
ready for dinner, having a, having a great day, having a great couple of days, and I just wanted to check in with you guys. But before we head to dinner, I'm just gonna spend some time playing in my planners next to a snail and just hanging out, just taking it easy. I feel like as you get older, a great birthday is literally just doing nothing. Hey guys. So I tend to find myself in precarious situations when I follow Alex to go geocaching. We found it though, so that's cool. The coffee was fun, and I'm pretty sure there's a much easier way to get here. Yeah, it definitely feels like it would have been quicker not to We went the lot. that way. The homies call it bushwhacking. The homies. It's the official one. Yeah. It's a cool tree. It started raining, <laughs> and we are not prepared. I was. I'm good. Can keep going. I got a hat. At least the coffee's warm. <laughs> My shirt's waterproof, so I'm just, I'm a duck. Okay, so we're in some, some random woods and you're looking for a multi-cache, so you have to find the first one. We had to jump a fence. Yeah, we definitely jumped a fence. So it has these eyes and then you go about 40 feet in the way that they're looking. So this way. Found it. See it, guys? So for this one, you got the coordinates here it's a multi-cache, so you find the first one, and then it gives you coordinates on the app of where the next one is. Well, I have a different app specifically oh. to help, um, but there is a way to do it in the native app. I just don't know how. Okay, so it's across the street? Um, I think we are the orange one. Yeah. So yes, I think it's across the street, in the parking lot, I'm guessing. Okay, here we go. So if we're right, it's up this tree. If we're wrong, Alex is climbing up a slightly overturned tree. So this is where the coordinates led us. All right, he found it. So if you're interested in geocaching, they're not all like this. But, but we've had some fun ones today. 